Ice Cube said kind of what I've said earlier. Diddy don't go down without the blessing of the white power structure. He don't go down. What the Ice Cube say? Somebody up top, and I'm paraphrasing, had to push the buttons to set this domino effect in motion. Listen, everything R. Kelly been accused of, I don't support it, you don't support it. I don't condone it, you don't condone it. But it's everyday business in the music business. Everything Puffy been con con uh, 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 accused of, you don't support it, I don't support it. But guess what? It's everyday business in show business. So clearly, they not going down for that. What Bill Cosby was accused of, it's everyday business in show business. That means what? That means they didn't go down because of that. Because a lot of people do that on a regular basis who themselves were not exposed. So Ice Cube is right. I believe Diddy went down because he sued the parent company of his liquor label for not properly promoting, marketing, and advertising his liquor brand. He accused them of racism. And I think they picked up the phone and called some white people who called some white people and said Diddy is getting beside himself. He forgot who's really in charge. Sean Puffy Combs thinks he's a boss. And guess what we about to do? He's no longer musically relevant anyway. He ain't had a hit in I don't know how long. He ain't brought us another B.I.G. or Faith Evans. We don't know in how long. Guess what? Smack that n on the back of his head and let him know he is not a part of the white power structure. And they brought him down. Sean Puffy Combs does not fall from grace without the approval of the power structure. Ice Cube knows it. Ice Cube was around for the Easy e situation. He was close enough to the Tupac situation. Ice Cube been in the music business, the acting business. He know how this game go. You don't fall unless the power structure wants you to fall. Ice Cube was dead right on Sean Puffy Combs. What's good, y'all? It is Simasa, my man. So, Dr. Omar Johnson, as you heard, he speak about Diddy, man. And I also have more to show you because that's not all, man. He said something that's going to be mind-blowing. I'm going to play it real soon. But I want you to share your thoughts and comments. Let me know you feel about this, man. I want to know how do you feel about this. Do you agree with Dr. Omar Johnson or do you feel like it's more deeper? Let me know in the comments. And also remember to drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to play another clip. Let's go. On Puffy Combs. Now, I heard somebody say, Puffy said, allegedly, because I didn't hear Puff. They said, Puffy going to start naming names and telling on other people. Here's what I want to say to my brother, Sean Puffy Combs, whose behavior I do not condone. And I pray to God he didn't have nothing to do with Tupac and Big's assassination. Although logic seems to suggest otherwise. Sean Puffy Combs, please don't start going around talking about you telling all white higher ups. If you think you're going to expose white elites, you're going to end up like Jerry Epstein. Jerry Epstein made the same threat. Jerry Epstein said he was not going to go down alone. And the next thing you know, they took his life and blamed it on the suicide. Puffy, I believe Sean Puffy Combs is too smart to start publicly threatening white elites. I think he knows enough to know. I think his his entertainment uncle, Clive Davis, taught him enough where Puffy knows you cannot publicly threaten white elites. It won't end good. So Puff, for the sake of your children and your family and your mom who love you and still need you, bruh, please don't go around threatening white elites. You will have to take this one on the chin for the sake of your family and for the sake of your life. Man, I ain't gonna tell a lie, man. Like, Dr. Omar Johnson be speaking, man. Like, remember to drop a like and subscribe for Dr. Omar Johnson, man. He be speaking facts, you know, but we're still, you know, trying to figure out what's really going on. We also sure that, you know, some of these victims definitely speaking the truth about Diddy. I believe some of them, you know, are paid, are paid actors, you know, on the payroll to speak against Diddy. But I also highly believe that some of the victims definitely speak in facts. You know, I feel like Diddy did some wild things in his life, man. And that's how the universe go. You know, it always brings the truth to the to the light, man.
You know, so if you're in the dark, living in the dark, man, one day you're going to catch up on you, man. And listen, man, I want these youngins to learn from this situation, man. You're an upcoming man. I want you to see these things and learn, man. Do not glorify these things. Do not try to be like these things. Do the right thing in life. Stay away from all these type of lifestyle, man. It ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. They just trying to trick you into thinking it's cool, man. But it's wrong, brother. Do the right thing, man. Stay in the light and be the light. It is Tim Mind. Thank you for watching. See y'all later.